So Teen Vogue wrote an amazing piece a few weeks ago on the internal clitoris. I was very impressed. Someone there has a big mind and a big heart. And you said a very big clit. <laughs> <laughs> and a big clit, yes. So they were talking about the erectile tissue. Women have just as much as men. 8,000 nerve endings. The legs and the bulbs of the clitoris. It's not just the glands. Really. This is, this is teen vogue. Amazing information for a fashion mag. It's happening. Brava. Like, whoever's doing it, whoever's there, yeah. I could Google around, but yes, you're it's amazing. Happening. There was only one small caveat, and they said how if you would have, if you have an orgasm, you'll know it. Uh, 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 uh. And I hear this all the time from you with questions and private sessions. Break it down. If you talk to enough women, and <laughs> the goddess knows I do, you will find that they're, they hold an expectation of what an orgasm is. Fireworks, and, crossing a bridge. <laughs> right? That's what people Well, they're talking. watching porn. <laughs> All this insane act activity. The men love for a woman to scream. Well, it's to see a response, right? An orgasm sometimes can be a very small Quiet, response. Much more subtle. It's for the woman. It's not for the partner. So she doesn't have to make a lot of noise. You're burning up a lot of your orgasm with the sound. You're throwing it out. It's going out. You want to go in. In. Okay. You want to breathe. You want That's to squeeze it. your PC. Clitoral uh, stimulation uh, with vaginal penetration. Uh, 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 never. But I think that creates like a fantasy image. And for most women writing into you, they describe the perfect buildup to an orgasm. And then they say, I feel nothing. And then it's hypersensitive. That means they've had an orgasm. They probably had an orgasm. But it's small. Why? <coughs> Why is it and small? And they don't, they don't recognize it as an orgasm because they're holding this image of the screaming over the top. And an orgasm can be something really small. Sweet and subtle and simple. So how do we build or, or orgasms? How do we get to that place? Because I think that's what everyone wants. Well, now that we're learning how to edge, you'll learn much more about your sexuality. What is edging? Going up to the moment where it's starting to feel really good, and it's at a, one more stroke and you'll get off, Oh, the, the agony, the sweet agony of it all. So you build up again. Oh, pull back. Oh, go the third time and let it go. And engage your mind. It's your mind. Well, it's your body. It's your soul. Take we would time. Hope, we would hope that the mind's been part of the whole action. It's like I have a fantasy. I always have a fantasy. So, sometimes I've had to roll back. <laughs> yeah, I've done that where you're like, oh, oh, oh wait a second. Let me go. Wait, <laughs> wait, it's too soon. <laughs> I haven't finished my Let fantasy. Let me slow walk that. <laughs> <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't put it in yet. <laughs> yeah, it's all of that. Well, I think in, orgasms are always different. You know, we all want that huge orgasm that comes really fast. Sometimes you have to work. It's no, work. No, no, You have no. to work for it. It's like working out. You want a tone body, you have to work for it. You have to practice. Sometimes they come easily. Sometimes they do. They do. Most times they don't. No, and, but you don't want to come fast. That's, re, that's, that's imitating, imitating men. And the men will tell you that it's not they, very satisfying. They've come before they built up any sexual tension, so they're going. <laughs> I wasn't ready. It should take. Well, it not that it should take, but like my best orgasms are when it takes at least thirty minutes. Oh, at least, at least thirty, if not, if not more. You can. If you can hold it back for a length of time, 
as, as I mean, you don't want to hold it too long because you can't go past the point. Of no See, way. I'm different. For me, because I'm a mom, it's like I want to have a quick orgasm and then I'll have more. But I want to know I get one in because I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so well, you can like, do that. You I know. get that one in and then I'm like, okay, I can keep going. I don't have to stop. I can you can keep have going. a quickie. <laughs> yeah. And you can look at the clock and say, I've got 15 minutes. Go for it. So when people say or women say that afterwards their clit is hypersensitive, should they stop? Well, yeah. It's for a minute, but should they just walk away and that's it? Or should they keep going? Well, you know, different different strokes for different folks. Keep going. Sometimes. <laughs> you want to keep going. Sometimes you just ease up and kind of massage your whole genital area and continue thinking you're... For me, I'll get a little sip of water and I play with my nipple. Exactly. <laughs> and then, and then, then start to build up again. And you can go. We... One time I spent four hours masturbating. Well, that's one of the amazing things about being a woman, isn't it? We can just go. Guys and can do go. it. Guys can do it. It takes more. It's easier for women. We see it in the workshops. <laughs> There's always a sex piggy. <laughs> oh. Who will go and go and go till they're levitating off the floor. Yeah. And that's when you get those intense orgasms. And we've watched them. It's and beautiful. we've experienced them, and they're wonderful. Orgasm is one of the best things that happens to us. Now, as I'm getting older, I notice that I'm getting a little lax about getting out the towel and putting it on the bed and getting out my vibrator, getting out my dildos, getting out my massage oil, getting out this and stretching out on the bed and spending 30 minutes to an hour pleasing mm. myself. And I'll say, oh, I don't have time. We do have time. We always have time. Oh, they're going to come at 5 o'clock, and it's 20 till. Demand time. Take that time. Of course, take the time. And don't answer the door. <laughs> I, I solved the problem by leaving my door unlocked. <laughs> So, what the orgasm does, I say it feeds us psychically, mentally, emotionally, or is all that psychic. And physically, I'm 88, and I woke up yesterday, and I said to myself, I don't have anything wrong with me. Except high blood pressure, which I'm, I'm taking. <laughs> she eats a lot of salt. <laughs> I'm taking a med. One. One. I have That's one. pretty amazing, though. So here is a testament to the power of orgasm energy. I, they want to know, what is it? I, I've, been very, I've always been thoughtful about what I eat, it, you know, after 35. And I don't exercise. I sit at the computer. I'm using my brain, and my body gets used when I walk to the post office or the grocery store or when I masturbate. You heard it here. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Come for us. <laughs>